What is good guys here with Psychic Mewtwo vs Flame Victini for SPL Week 4. We're gonna rewatch the first few turns real quick. See a U-turn from Landis on a gas turn into Tangos. Either Skull or Toxic is gonna come out and Toxic Miss. So now it'll either go into Mew or into his Zard. So if I'm Psychic Mewtwo, I would double into Heat Turn here. Doubles in the pins there. Uh, he obviously has to switch out here unless he has sub. He has to switch out fearing the Willowers. He goes in the trend. See, it's the Rocks Mew. So the defogger is either the Katana or the Landers, as it's Rocks Mew, which probably Wisp, Softball, and Ice Beam. So we see Zard with Dragon, so it probably has Earthquake. Uh, Psychic Mewtwo got up his Rocks, and he sees Z move, Magma Storm, Z in front of Overdrive, do a good chunk. Uh, not Mega Evolving, but Zard is a really good play by Flame Victini, and the Earthquakes and kills the Heatran. Um, I think uh, Psychic Mewtwo was kind of forced to stay in there. He doesn't really have counterplay to the Zard because his Landers is most likely defensive. Defensive with um, Defog, Earthquake, U turn, and HP Ice. We saw the rocks were on Trent, so they're not, not on Lando. And it has to be Defog Lando because he has a pincer on his team. He needs Defog support. So if he has Scarf Greninja, he could go to that and click Rock Slide. But from the way he's taking his time, I assume that Greninja is Battle Bond and would have to rely on getting enough hits with Water Shrieking, which is why he's taking so long. And his Lando doesn't have a Rock Move, because that's why also why he's taking so long. So I'm assuming he's just going to U turn out here. So he could have stayed regular form and. Nah, no, okay, not. No, that was the correct play by Effie. Yeah. Because if you stay regular form and you roost, then you're weak to Earthquake. Then you risk getting Earthquake. So I assume you just see the U turn here from Psychic Mewtwo. I don't know what's going on with Shodan or if that's my computer. That's a bug. Um, so I'm expecting just a U turn here. And then you can scare this out with Water Shrieking or with Quick Attack. Most likely with Water Shrieking. And I'm expecting the Greninja to be Choice Sparks. We already saw the Z move was on the Heatran on Psychic Mewtwo's side. And the Magnezone has to be Scarf. His team is pretty slow and that helps him check Katana. And then that's his only Scarf, I think, because he has double priority in Pinsir and in uh, Greninja. Obviously, good play by FV keeping the Zard as fodder because he was forced to Water Shrink there. Uh, now Tangus is going to come out here. He could uh, throw off a Toxic. He already missed one earlier, so let's see if he can hit it this time. Greninja is obviously locked in and forced to switch. So now, um, Psychic Mewtwo has two plays. He can go for a knockoff here on the incoming Mew, because Mew is obviously going to come out here. Or he could go into Greninja, double um, into Greninja, expecting a Mew, and then uh, either fire off a Dark Pulse or get up a Spike. Uh, getting rid of Heatran was clutch for Flying Victini. That was one of the ones that walled the Mew. I'm expecting the Mew to be Ice Beam to help with the Zygarde matchup. So I uh, rock Softball, Ice Beam, and, and Will O Wisp. So there's a knockoff, so I assume he's just gonna softball here, and Psychic Mewtwo is probably gonna go into Greninja. But if um, if he can get rid of the Greninja, then I see I think this is gonna be a tough time for Psychic Mewtwo. There's the Greninja. Now either Spike or Dark Woods is gonna come out. Flame Team has two plays. He can either go on a Gastron or on a Titar. Uh, the Titar is probably Choice Bandit. Then Katana or Land, one of the two is Scarf and the other one is the Z-Move user. Uh, there's a team that John aka Brof has made that is pretty similar to this where the Katana was Z-Move. But let's see what happens here. He goes on the Tita, expecting the Dark Pots or Spike and now he can pursue this Greninja that is most likely Choice Locked. He can pursue this for a lot of damage. Um, let's see if the Pursuit brings it in range of Hazards. It's definitely gonna bring this Greninja super low as there's the Pursuit. Bop! And there's one more Rock Switch in now. Oh, there's the Landris. Um, I'm expecting... Flame Victini to either stay in with Pursuit the Landris, which might kill the Landris because Landris tend to carry a good amount of speed to speed creep opposing Landris. Like some people run like 60 speed on my Landris. I even like to run 80 or 84 speed on my Landris personally. Um, he could, like, Psychometer could U turn an Earthquake. Um, Flame Victini doesn't necessarily need health on his Titar because the next time it comes on the Hazards, I think it's already in range from Earthquake from Pinsir. Um, but it doesn't hurt for him to have the Tita around, so he could just sack the Zard to um, to the hazards here. Because I don't think Flame Vitini is gonna defog anytime soon. He also wants this Rock Sub to um, get damage on Psychic Mewtwo's Pinsir. Yeah, I think he's just gonna sack the Zard. Also, let's talk a bit more about the teams. Yeah, there's a team that Brof has made that was pretty similar to the team that Effie is using. I think one one was different, but I don't remember what it was. And that team had, um, I think, all out pummeling Katana. I think it was SD Leaf Blade, and the last move I don't remember. The last move on Katana could either be Defog, Smart Strike, or Knockoff. Um, if it's not Defog on the Katana, then it's Defog on the Lander, which is most likely Scarf. Um, the only way I can see Psychic Mewtwo winning this game is with his Pinsir somehow. Um, yeah, the Pinsir is most likely got obviously standard Pinsir with SD Return, Quick Attack, and uh, first. And Earthquake. Um, they're taking quite that time here, but I think he's just gonna sack the Zard. I 
Um, which teams are these guys on? I think Effie's on the scooters, but I'm not 100% sure. And Psyche Mewtwo is on the Tyrants, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, after he got rid of the Tran and this Greninja is now only has one more switch into Hazard, um, it looks like Mew pretty much has a field day. Besides the Pinsir, like it doesn't want to switch in on Pinsir. If the Pinsir has these, I can potentially Oko the Mew. But other than that, looks like Mew can potentially solo this uh, Psyche Mewtwo's team now. So the trend was Z, Madness Storm, Rocks, the last move were probably Earth Power and Taunt. Because if he had Toxic, I think Psychic Mewtwo could have gone for Toxic on the Zard. But yeah, one of the reasons why Zard Y is not seen at all at the moment is because of Pex. So it was pretty obvious to me that this was going to be Zardex on Effie's side. It's not my internet that died, it's just them taking so long, okay? Now maybe if he's running some cogs for the, for the late game, so he just just suck his Zard. If you see Earthquake, are you done? Yeah, Earthquake was fine. Now he can go into either Kartana or Landris. Oh, he, no, he could have also gone to Mew and clicked the Ice Beam. So he goes Kartana. Um, Saki Mewtwo could either sack this and then trap the Kartana with his Scarf Magnezone, or if he wants to save this, he can go hard on the Magnezone. But hard Magnezone is a risky play. Because if there's a Z move Kartana, it can blow away the Magnus Zone. Um, the play here is either Leaf Blade or Z move, um, or Hard Sacred Sword. If you don't have, if you if you're fearing the Magnus Zone coming, in, you could also Sacred Sword. So there's the Magnus Zone. Let's see. Uh, Z move, I probably pummeling. Yes. So Magnus Zone just dies, um, and now Greninja is gonna come out. Yep. And Flamitini is forced into Gastron here, but now that Magnezone is dead, he doesn't need he doesn't need Gastron for much besides Greninja. So um, I assume you're gonna see a Dark Pulse Z from Psychic Mewtwo, which would obviously kill the Katana. Katana is at 82, so the next time it comes in, it's at 66, I think. Yeah. So Gastron can definitely come out here. Uh, Zenstorm is gonna end, so Greninja is not gonna die to the Sandstorm. And the Dark Pulse is a good chunk. So, um, Psychic Mewtwo is gonna go for the flinch here. If Effie doesn't wanna risk that, he can go into Tita to uh, kill this Greninja with Sandstorm, but I think he's just gonna stay in and recover. He doesn't necessarily need this Gastron. And even if he gets flinched, uh, he can revenge this Greninja afterwards with U turn. And Greninja does die to hazards if it switches out, so he cannot keep it around. So, he just recovers, he doesn't get flinched. So he's probably just gonna spam recover, um, try to get this healthy if he can avoid flinches. And then eventually, he's gonna click Scald or Off quick. Um, I think he's gonna recover one more time to have this as a max health, right? Yep. And now he's gonna attack with Scalder off quick. So Sahimitu could either go for flinch or he could switch out and keep it as fodder. As he keeps it as fodder, goes into tank rows. Now, um, Mew is gonna come out here. But the thing is, what is his play? He can't really pressure the Mew. Because I'm pretty sure the Mew is faster than the Landers. Defensive Mew should definitely be faster than defensive Landers. So doubling into Lando doesn't get you anywhere. Staying in doesn't get you anywhere because your toxic Mew beats you 1v1. Mew is definitely gonna come out here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you can't double into Greninja because you die to hazards. And if you double into Pinsir, then if you don't have sub, you can't set up on a Mew either. You would have to bank on a Will with dodge if you set up with Pinsir, if you want to set up with Pinsir on a Mew. So just HP Ice is there. I don't know if he predicted the If there was HP fire and he predicted the cut No. I don't know what he predicted there. HPIs was predicting the Lando maybe. But yeah, Mew pretty much beats this one we won. He's forced out to Lando, okay. Um I thought he would just sack his Greninja. I don't know why he went into Landris. Because Mew should definitely outspeed uh defensive Landris and be able to kill it with Ice Beam. This should be Ice Beam to help with Zygarde. So Psyche Mewtwo should in my opinion sack the Greninja. I don't know why he went hard into Lando instead of Greninja. Now he sacks the Greninja. And now he has to go into Pinsir, because other than that he doesn't have a play and he if he has sub he can go for that or otherwise he could um, SD and hope for Willowis misses. So pretty much, yeah, I think he has to SD and hope for Willowis misses. I don't think he has sub. So I think Flaming Team's best play is just clicking Ice Beam because uh, that way you don't risk missing Willowis and you just need to chip this pincer down. Because if you chip this pincer down, um, so he has these, right? If you chip this pincer down, it's gonna eventually be in range of Sandstorm or of. Uh, it's gonna be in range of Katana's. Um, if Katana has Smart Strike, it's gonna be in range of that. I don't know if Katana has Smart Strike, obviously. Um, I think he might have to SD again to um, also Ice Beam potentially puts this in range from Scarf Lando's HP Ice. 
Now, I think he has to attack, because if he has these again, then he's just super low, and then he just dies to Sandstorm from Tita. So I think... Mm -hmm. Like, Psychimutu's win con at this point was hoping that if he misplays and clicks Wisp and misses, but he didn't do that, he was smarter than that, he clicked Ice Beam, because Wisp miss would have been uh, Psychimutu's out. Um, I'm pretty sure he only kills the Mew if he Mega Evolves, right? If he doesn't Mega, he doesn't kill it. So that way, if he Megas, he's weak to HPIs, if the Landra is Scarf, and... I don't know if that would kill, but if that doesn't kill, then Sandstorm from Tita is gonna pick off the Pinsir. If HPS from Scarland doesn't pick it off. Or oh, also, even if the Lando has a rock move, um, it's safer if you don't have to go for it. Like, if you can chip this Pinsir down without having to go for a rock move, because then it can miss. So, um, I like how Effie is playing this. I don't know. Uh, I think he had to attack with Pinsir there. Yeah. Because now, the MVT can just um, switch out here, right? He can just switch on the Tita here, and then Sandstorm is gonna um, bring this, set this Pinsir on a timeout. So the reason why he SD'd again is, I think, because otherwise he couldn't kill the Kartana with Quick Attack. I'm not 100% sure, but he pretty much wants to be able to Oko the Landris with Quick Attack. And he wants to be able to Oko the Kartana. I don't know, Kartana might have died to plus 2, but Landris would probably not have died to plus 1 after Intimidate. So he goes on the... Tita, which is the correct play, keeping Mew around. Sandstorm is gonna set this on, a, bring this on a timer, so it dies next turn. Now he can either go Lando or Katana, and yeah, he can quick attack to pick off the Katana, but then it's gonna be a double down, and it's pretty much over for Psychic Mewtwo because Mew just comes out in solos. Yeah, I think Mew, uh, Flaming Team played this pretty well, not going for Wisp and risking the miss. Um, he figured out how to beat the spins there without having to rely on inaccurate moves. And he stayed in regular form early with the Zart, knowing that the Lando most likely doesn't have a rock move either, so pretty well played. And now the Mute solos, he can click Ice Beam into Soft Ball, and he beats Tangros and Lando 1v1 easily. Yeah, this is pretty much Zalex opened up the. the the game for Mew and that play hard to Tita on the Greninja was also really nice. Like he didn't lose too much from it. Sagimoto was never clicking. Like if he went for a water move, that would have been a hard play. But I don't think he ever, anyone clicks water move there when there's a Gastron in the back. So yeah, cool played by Fe. Um, Fe is now, I think he's now Fe two and two or three and one. I'm not sure. I think he's three and one. And yeah, I will be back with more SPL coverage later or the next day. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. And peace out.